Hey, uh, hey all, I was doing a bit of um, coding at lunch and I thought I'd share just how insanely productive you can be in Clojure. Uh, this is Clojure Script and Reagent, playing around with that Eris prototype I've been doing. So uh, I've been toying around with mucking with doing the events view. And it, uh, it loads right now, it sorts, it does things, uh, it changes things as they go along. Sort of actively, and if we scroll down here, you can see, probably see these change live. Let's see, yeah, there it goes. This one just did. Anyway, I th thought it's I've got it working nice, but I'd like to change around a little bit. I want to add a filter option so I can just focus in on the events that I'm curious about at the time. So I went ahead and mocked it up, and it's going to look like this. We have now a filter field and a, a sort field. I'm using Bootstrap, so the uh, HTML to do this is all is straightforward and easy. So this is the end goal. We will start by getting rid of this highlight because it's ugly. Um, I need to add in, start by adding in um, that filter field and uh, adding it up here. So we're going to Add a new component. We're going to call it our sorry, event controls. That'll do everything for us. This is going to take in the sorting mode and the event name filter because we need those to. We'll need to share those between this this component, the subcomponents of it, and the actual event list. And then all of this really itself is going to look like is a container for two other things. If we go back to that HTML really fast, we j just need to put together this quick outline. I'll paste it in here so it's clear what I'm doing. There. I'll fix that up in a bit. Quick outline to hold these other two things. And then we'll have Sort controls are defined up here. I'll just stick them in there really fast. So right now I won't have the um, won't have the form filter, the name filter in there yet. But I can get the rest in. And then let's modify this a little bit. We don't need all of that anymore. Format it. Um, and then let's add a bit of styling to this, control label, so it'll look, look correct. Um, now if I save that, we should now see, oops, sort control, not sort controls, save it, I should see it change over here, and we, you can see it reformatted this a little bit, um, oops, thing. and that's going to Ooh, what did I do there? Hmm, I got something wrong. Um, I'll get to that in just a moment. What did I do? Oh, I forgot the I forgot to mark it as so. Aha, that's what I did wrong. Um, I added this event controls component. But I'm not actually using it yet. I'm still just using the sort controls. So if we squint, scroll all the way down to to the main component, and let's add in what we need. Screwing up all sorts of things here. Step back just a little bit. Did I not name it event controls? I did not. Events controls. I want event controls because it is. That's how I want to name it. Okay, now that works right. So the problem was I defined this event control thing, but I was still just using sort control, which no longer had the proper styling. That's why it blew up on me. So 
So now I'm using the new thing. And then I also added, I'm going to need a variable to track the filter I'm using. So I added that up here because I'll need it. So now I've got that. Now I need to add the filter thing. Let me just have my way really fast. Main filter control. And I don't really need um, a comment on it right now. So same thing. A little bit of HTML for it. And styling and whatnot. Control And again, what I'm doing is, oops, scrolling and losing my place. What I'm doing is just bringing in this bit of HTML here. So this is a search input, so that I will automatically get a nice um, escape to clear type functionality and things like that. Form control. Uh, what else did I need here? Oh, placeholder. And then I need a function to run when it changes. When it changes, what I will do is I will change the name filter. Or I'll actually, I is going to be the name filter. When it changes, I'll change the name filter with uh, the current value of, or the value that comes out of that thing. So save, no compilation error, so it didn't complain. So let's just add this in here now. Save again, and I blew it all up. What did I do? Oh my gosh. What did I do? This went much smoother when I did it at lunch. And I wasn't trying to uh, do this while I talk, spoke it through, talked it through. I screwed something. There we go. Sorry, I need to just, I'm going to refresh really, really fast just to clear out those errors that are coming through. Okay, so we have that filter box does the right thing. Now we, this isn't collapsing properly. I'll figure that out later because it's not important right now. But now we need to filter things. So, how do we filter events? We'll take a list of events and a string to filter by. If that name string is empty, we just return the events as is. We're not doing any filtering. Otherwise, I have something very similar for pages, so I'm just going to steal it. Actually, first, I will need this for working with strings. I'll add it to my retire list. Then let's steal this bit of filtering, and I could probably abstract this out a bit to make it uh, less repetitive, but I'm not going to worry about that right this moment. Oops. And so, oops. So we save it. Um, so this should filter events correctly now. So then we'll go down to the events list where we are we're currently sorted thing, sorting things, and we'll just filter them first. And then this will work. We'll let the sort work with filtered events now. Save it. Shouldn't see anything actually change over here until I start typing in and it's not working. 
what did I do wrong? Name filter is an atom. I pass it directly along to event. Oh, derp. So, event controls. We're passing it along, so. And then I'm just going something up there, too. I knew that was supposed to be that. Now, there we go. So we can search for Portland. I know that one's in there. Disney is in there. Sign is the only one that you're going to see changing because the weather doesn't change that fast. But filtering it by um, name so we only get the 10 sign things. Uh, you can see them actively changing. We can change the sort order to keep the active ones on top and it should continue doing the right thing. And notice as it's, it's keeping alph it alphabetically supported or sorted like it should. And we're good to go. Also, just to show this, we have um, it also sorts enabled and disabled. Enabled ones will come first, sort of. Thing. So yeah, there it is. That was very meandering, but and I honestly it went a lot smoother when I wasn't trying to talk and type at the same time. But that's how easy it is to kind of muck around and make changes and implement stuff in ClojureScript.